Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about dissociation constant for acids and bases. Okay, this is uh, don't 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 be uh, panicked by the name. This is uh, you have already seen this before. So I'll tell you where. So what is a weak acid? A weak acid is something that does not dissociate entirely. So if we put hundred of acetic acid which is vinegar you probably get some of the acetic acids gonna be dissociate how they're gonna dissociate so they're gonna dissociate like this cs3 coo minus plus h plus ions so uh, this is the proton acidic proton and that proton is lost and this is a weak acid so the reaction can go backward direction as well so now at this point, because this reaction is in equilibrium, because this reaction is in equilibrium conditions, can you write the equilibrium constant? Pause the video here and then write by yourself. Write by yourself, then I'll show you the answers. Okay, you can unpause now. Okay, so what is the equilibrium constant for this one? So let's call it K. How do we find out the equilibrium constant? It is the product's concentrations. Uh, if we have multiple product, then you multiply those. And then divided by reactant. If we have multiple reactants, then you multiple, multiply each of those reactants. So in this case, what is our product? We got two products, H plus ion. And what is the other product? We got CH3. C O O minus. And what is our reactant? Reactant is CH3 C O O H. Okay, uh, this is our product, this is our reactant, and equilibrium constant is this. So, this equilibrium constant, you have seen this before. So, this equilibrium constant, when we uh, use this in the context of acid or weak acid in this particular case, uh, so that's called dissociation constant of acid, Ka. So why it's called dissociation constant? Because the acid is dissociating itself into two parts. So it's breaking into two parts. So that's why it's called Ka. So the A stands for acids. If it is a base, then it's called Kb. Bo both are just an equilibrium constant, so K, B. So the B stands for base. So again, K, A is the dissociation constant of acids. Okay, so let's do a quick recap from your uh, previous concept. So you can pause the video when I ask the questions and try to answer and see if you uh, matches. Lawyer. K, lower Ka means more product or reactant. Okay, so uh, lower product means more product or reactant. So what is the Ka? Ka is equilibrium constant for acids or you can say dissociation constants. So in this case, if this number is lower, that means our numerator has to be low as well, right? Or denominator has to be bigger. So if this number is lower, this number has to be bigger. So, and your numerator has to be smaller. So if this number is smaller, your numerator has to be smaller and your reactant, which is the denominator, has to be bigger. So in this particular scenario, what would you say? Uh, the acid is dissociating less, right? So you're gonna get less product and more reactant. So this means your acid is dissociating less. So if it is dissociating less, that means it is a weaker acid. 
So you can put that in conclusion one step at a time. So this means the acid is dissociating less So it is a weaker acid. So you can from now conclude in your statement, lower the Ka, weaker the acid, right? So uh, you, you can have alternate a approach. So let's look at this way. Uh, let's let's do a strong acid. Then you'll you'll have uh, a better appreciation. So strong acid H plus. So HCl is a strong acid. So when you put them in water, you'll get H plus and Cl minus. Okay, so in this case, what is your Ka gonna be? It's gonna be product concentrations divided by reactant. So we know that HCl is a strong acid. So what is the nature of the strong acid? Uh, as soon as you put into water, almost everything's gonna be switched to the product side. So your product concentration would be very high, right? And what, what, should, what should happen to the reactant? It's gonna be very small or close to zero, right? It's gonna be very, very small, right? It's because it's a strong acid. So what should happen to our Ka? Ka is gonna be very, very high. It's gonna be very, very high. So you can put this in your box. Higher Ka means strong acid. All right. So uh, in book, uh, you will find uh, like this. It's it's does the concept doesn't change. But remember, uh, I talked to you before, uh, the H plus ion does not stay as H plus ion. So uh, in book, you will find like this. Both are correct. There is nothing uh, wrong on either approach. Uh, so you'll see uh, like this. So water is going to extract a proton, so it becomes H3O plus and the CH3COOH is the one that's gonna lose the proton minus. So uh, you can find the equilibrium constant like this, which is product concentrations divided by reactant. So what are the products? Products are H3O plus, so remember, uh, here we used to write H plus ion. So if you look up, we just wrote H plus ion. So all you have to do is replace this H plus ion as H3O plus ion. It doesn't really matter. So H plus ion does not stay by itself. So uh, in chemistry, when we write H plus ion, we imply that it is H3O plus. So instead of writing H3O all the way every single time, you can simply write H plus and we'll get that that this is uh, H3O plus. CH3COO minus divided by, what are the reactant? Our reactant is CH3COOH and H2O, right? Because H2O is a pure liquid, uh, so it's a pure liquid, we don't put that in there. We can just ignore that portions. Okay, so that's the Ka. Uh, so Kb is uh, similarly, you can uh, find Kb. Uh, you just take a weak base and you can write down the equations. So the everything, every principle is exactly same. So again, quick recap, lower Ka means weaker acid because our uh, 
lower ka means our numerator is lower and our denominator is higher so if we have more reactant that means it is not dissociating properly so that means it's going to be a weaker acid on the other side if we have a high ka which means your product is more that means you are dissociating more which means it's going to be a stronger acid so stronger acids dissociates more weaker acids dissociates less all right so let's stop this video here